In this problem, we have a polynomial, and we have to show it is irreducible over the rational numbers. To do that, we're going to use something called the Eisenstein criterion, so proof. So Eisenstein says, uh, if you find a prime number p that divides this one, this one, and this one, but it doesn't divide the leading coefficient, and also p squared does not divide the constant factor, so it does not divide a sub 0, then it's going to be irreducible over the rational numbers. Again, if you can find a prime that divides this one, this one, and this one, but it doesn't divide the leading coefficient, and as well as this condition here, p squared does not divide the constant term, then it's irreducible. It's kind of an interesting condition. It's, it's a lot, okay? So what prime will divide these three that I have circled? Well, looks like three, right? Three will divide each of these. It doesn't divide the seven, so that, that takes care of uh, that condition. And p squared is nine, so it, and that doesn't divide the 15. So this should be irreducible by Eisenstein's criterion. So let's just write it that down. So note, p equals three is prime. And p divides 15, p divides 6, p divides um, negative 9, but p does not divide 7, and p squared, which is 9, does not divide 15. So we found a prime number that divides each of the circled ones, doesn't divide the leading coefficient, and p squared doesn't divide the constant term. So hence, f of x is irreducible, irreducible over q by Eisenstein's, I can never spell it, Eisenstein's criterion. So recap, Eisenstein says if you can find a prime that divides everything except the leading coefficient and if that prime square doesn't divide, your, doesn't divide your constant term, then your polynomial is irreducible over Q. Something to always have uh, in the back of your mind when you're working on these types of questions. I hope this video has been helpful.